this is a, definitely a well-predicted outcome for winners finals, and this is a matchup that I <laughs> know even less about <laughs> than uh, than Link Bayonetta. It seems like after watching both of these players like play already, I'm very interested to see how two quick combo-heavy characters interact. Well, yeah, because like I s mainly with Link against Bayonetta, your strategy is let her come in. Both of these characters are just breaking down doors. They wanna they wanna come in as fast as possible, disrupt you, juggle you. That's both of their game plan. And now, they're keeping it pretty even, just taking turns juggling each other. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now, I mean like Greninja's a better character, but Fade's been playing Bayonetta since I since he was five, probably. I mean this like he knows his character in and out, so what character is better tier list wise, not even might not even really matter. Although I say that and Aww. nothing else. <laughs> I say that and that's it. That's the end of my sentence. I'm going home. You the, just punch a frog. <laughs> <laughs> the call out. That was so good. Because a lot of the times, one of those risky things about Bayonetta's smash decks is they do sort of leave her in a pretty vulnerable position. Oh, yeah. But that was such a sick call out by Fade right there. Yeah, definitely risky to throw it out, but when it connects, it is always satisfying. Yeah, it is. It's one of the most satisfying smash decks in the entire game. It really is. Like that and her down smash with the boot. Oh, I love the boot. <laughs> Just because I know, like, like Patrick from the SpongeBob movie <laughs> style, and, like the big heel. Like, yeah, that's it's so, so satisfying. So one thing that is going to be worth paying attention to absolutely is how quickly both of these characters get their kills. There's a reason why Greninja is a better character than Bayonetta. He's able to get those combos. Um, maybe not able to rack up damage as fast as Fade can consistently. However, uh, Greninja can kill pretty consistently where Bayonetta, that's her big flaw. Yeah, and especially thinking about Greninja's, even like that up smash, I feel like that's still safer to use in any of like Bayo's yeah. forward up smash or down smash options. Uh -huh, absolutely. There's um, less to punish with Greninja. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's going to be sort of the main thing that Fade is going to have to overcome, I think right now uh, because like right there that fair like Bayo wishes she could kill with her fair at that percent yeah at that uh, at, at ledge right now but just like that Nair is even going to do it from uh, Greninja so I mean like no not Nair back air so uh, yeah that's just that's that's the problem with this matchup for Bayonetta just in general yeah yeah, and Greninja's surprisingly good at keeping her off stage because most characters usually can't do much when Bayonetta's flying through the air. You risk a lot by chasing her. Uh -huh. But with this, Greninja has no problems. That's also a really good option, though. That's uh, something that's pretty easy to forget about is when you're at like that 140, 130, 140 range, getting thrown off stage and getting caught sleeping for even a second, the gun boots shall come out. Because yeah. they do kill that far off stage easily. Yeah, they both got a lot of great options for running in and just beating each other up. <laughs> but then there's also a lot of good, like, go away, keep off me, or I'm just going to stand on the other side of the stage and hurt you and you have nothing to do about it. Yeah. So, as I talked about before, Fade with those aerial combos, has had no problem racking up damage, trying to find the back air right there to seal the deal, not going to find it just quite yet. And but Fade just doing everything he can to close out the stock. <laughs> now Ice Knight is, Fade is not yet at a point percentage-wise where he needs to be concerned, but he's going to get there very soon. Those oh, callouts, oh my goodness, that was so scary. Those couple oh. of down tilts, that's not gonna kill just yet. Oh. Let's see, will Bayo survive? Good timing on the water shuriken. Now we're gonna see probably Fade throw out a lot of backers right here trying to catch a landing, trying to catch an approach from Ice Knight. Oh no! What? I was so confused. That was <laughs> Ford Smash, I think. But instead of a giant fish, fish uh, Bayonetta just kind of used her own. <laughs> um, yeah, it just clanked. That was weird. I don't see that that often. Yeah, 
I didn't realize I was going to kill. That was very awkward. It looked like, because they definitely um, hit each other at the same time. I just don't see Bayonetta's smash attacks clink a whole lot. Yeah. Um, that was one thing, because remember, like, because that's the thing. I haven't really commentated a whole lot of Bayonetta in a while. Not really a whole lot of reason to. Smash 4 Bayonetta. Smash 4 Bayonetta had, like, uh, a, a pattern that she stuck to because it was really good. Juggle people, kill them off the top, kill them at 60, who cares? Mm -hmm. S Smash attacks were not a thing for Bayonetta in the last game. Yeah. This game, you kind of have to utilize them. So those funky interactions are um, certainly possible. I just don't see them a whole lot. Good move there from Ma, uh, from Ice Knight. Just being able to wait out Bayo, just hold shield. Bayo is just trying to stand on the floor for a couple seconds. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you I'll know take what? The yeah, that patience with that back here. Uh, Bayonetta is going to be able to find it. Fade taking a pretty quick stock from Greninja, but that extremely dangerous Fury Cutter patented RPG, hopefully it's not the real move <laughs> name. Um, Will is gonna go ahead and tie things up. There's just so many circles. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very true, it's like a Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel of pain. <laughs> Back to it, back to it, F trying to find these, I don't know, I guess consistent up airs, even though Fade is doing a pretty good job shielding on platform, oh. and those mid-air jabs, love to see him, like it goes from the past, is going to be able to take another stock off Ice Knight. Ooh, going down super deep there for a second. Yeah. And just, Bayo is going to take him for a ride, uh -huh. but... We've seen this go wrong. Yeah, well, it, it, it very easily wrong too. That was a nice, yeah, that down tilt um, gonna be something to watch out for. We already saw that Ice Knight is hunting for the up smash on those platforms. Oh, and it's not gonna hit the sweet spot, but that is gonna send uh, Fade off stage. Try to get that down tilt has worked out for Ice Knight a lot this game but one little miss right there and Fade takes advantage of it. That forward throw getting close to killing on its own. Fade being able to go super deep here because he has an extra stock to play with. Um, and you have to feel like Fade is super comfortable right now. Yeah. Fade's doing a good job just playing patient and calculated. But Ice Knight's really holding out here. Mm -hmm. Wow, you know what? He went from like playing really aggressively to literally dancing around this man. Yeah, it <laughs> like, looks like two ballerinas fighting. <laughs> like just being very patient all of a sudden. Jab will oh. do it. Yeah. That'll take it. 180. Not the uh, the most optimal of kill moves, but at that percent, you got an extra stock to play with. Absolutely. Take it 100%. Yeah. Um, and as long as Fade can keep that survivability, because the main thing right now is, we've talked about Greninja really easier, we know that. As long as Fade can keep that survivability and dance around Ice Knight's moves, all he really needs is like one quick kill, like 90 to 120. Yeah. And then he can have that sort of survivability. It, oh, wait a minute, this isn't Greninja. Oh, this is At least not. I don't think so, this is a weird alt, if it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is, um, yeah, Sephiroth, okay. Don't know a whole lot about Ice Knight Sephir Sephiroth. Yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting because Sephiroth has just a little bit more range. Just a little bit. <laughs> uh, I mean, a yeah. little bit. Yeah, yeah a little <laughs> bit. Just a seven foot times long sword. 75. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, the patented, I take up most of my, oh, most of the stage with my sword. Definitely, um, if boxing out Bayonetta is the new game plan, sure. Yeah. That'll do. Um, the one-winged angel is definitely a threat to do that at any point. Um, especially because that was so... Oh, yeah! Yeah, oh my god! His up special sucks! Yep. <laughs> it doesn't actually suck. It's really good. 
However, in this specific matchup where you can get witch timed and then and then eliminated by the devil? When your best tools turn on you. Oh, dude, that's so rough. I, uh, yeah. So, like, obviously with Sephiroth coming in, the plan to sort of box out Bayonetta is actually a pretty decent counterpick when you think about it objectively. It is. Because, like, Bayonetta constantly wants to come at you from that sort of horizontal situation, just low on the ground and, like, run into you, like, diving kick. And Sephiroth is really good horizontally. He's able to box you out horizontally with that big sword. But that recovery can be super suspect, and I also don't know how clean Ice Knight Sephiroth is as opposed to his Greninja, yeah. which right now is getting really pummeled. Yeah, it definitely seems like Fade has more answers for Sephiroth than he did for Greninja. Just, and Sephiroth uh, just keeps getting taken for a ride, and there, there he goes. Yeah, that was... Just escorted off stage. Very quick. Very quick. It felt like... It didn't, isn't that weird how in your heart it felt like a good counter pick and then he got witch time once and you were like, oh, shoot. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's ah, how this shucks. plays out. Yeah. <laughs>